very difficult golf course. So in spite of the fact that it looked a little messy, up the green, it was awesome. Well, let's find out in his words what the experience was like on Saturday. Todd Lewis caught up with Spencer Levine after his second straight round of 70. Spencer Levine fired a 68 on Thursday here on, the, here on the south course. Not quite that low today, but still 70, a very good number. You satisfied with it? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm happy with the way I played. Uh, the golf course is tough. Uh, I played really well on the front. Um, hit a couple couple loose shots there on the back, but um, all in all, I drove it well. And um, that's kind of the theme around here. you got to kind of, if you're not driving well, it's going to be tough. But I, I hit a lot of fairways a day and, and um, you know, gave myself, you know, chances to hit greens and, and try to make some birdies. The last few years, you've been battling a left thumb injury. Mm -hmm. uh, you started this season, mm -hmm. the medical exemption, and a handful of events to secure your card. You did that last fall. Yeah. Did that free you up mentally? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sure did. I, um, I had to make about an eight-footer on my last hole in Mexico of the tournament. Um, I finished, I didn't, you know, I finished 50 something, but it was enough points to, to get in. If I missed that, I still, I would have had to wait all winter and then come back. I still had a few events to get it, but I tell you that winter was a lot better not having to worry about it. So um, that was big, um, enjoyed my off season. And, you know, I'm, just, I'm enjoying playing golf again. I'm just happy to be out here. I, um, you know, I, I obviously want to do well, but you know, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm very thankful to be here, and I'm, I'm just I'm enjoying playing golf. And fans are enjoying watching you because you're not the PGA Tour robot that we see often out there. Uh, your mannerisms are interesting. How would you describe <laughs> your, yourself as a player before and after impact? Uh, I, I don't know. That's it. I guess it all depends on what kind of shot I hit, I guess. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, before, I don't know. I'm probably similar. Just, you know, try to get concentrated and hit your shot. But afterwards, it's uh, I don't even mean to do what I do. I just... You know, I, I'm competitive and I want to do good, so you still um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm glad it's fun to watch. I don't even really know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Good luck tomorrow. Right, thanks. So That's the <laughs> best. To be honest, it's just so pure. Spencer Levine is no stranger to wild rides. Remember, Brandon, he squandered a six-shot lead in Phoenix just a few years ago. Yeah, it was heartbreaking. If you remember, it came yeah. uh, the week after Kyle oh, Stanley shit. did the same thing. At, uh, at Farmers, right. and then there was redemption. So uh, there's still yet a victory in the column for Spencer Levine. Um, what you really don't notice, uh, because you get so caught up in all the gyrations after he hits a shot, is a gorgeous golf swing. I mean, it's and it's flat, and he comes over the top of it, which is so many great players have done. You always hear people talk about being on plane, and in fact, very few people are on plane. Uh, there's a, a myriad of compensations, but Spencer Levine, halfway down, if you've got a DVR, do it, and get to about halfway down in the delivery spot, and then draw a line to the golf ball. It is absolutely spot on, dead on plane. He's got tons of game. Uh, not everybody's given uh, the perfect demeanor to get the most out of their game, but he is really fun to watch. And uh -huh. all of the antics aside, it's a good golf swing. And a great segue by you. Do you recommend that he try to rein in that behavior, even though he doesn't even really know he's doing it? <clears throat> not at all. Uh, you know, I love the... Uh, I love the stories of that. I love those golf swings. I mean, years ago, you could identify a player 200 yards away by their golf swing. I think that uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of the golf swings have been homogenized. A lot of the personalities have been homogenized, and I get it. It's big business out there. You don't want to lose that job, and you want to make everything count. But uh, every now and then, a Bubba Watson pops up, a Spencer Levine pops up, and you know who they are. You don't have to ask. You don't have to look at the leaderboard, and they're fun to follow. Yeah, in a game where stars can just pop off conveyor belts like they're coming out of a factory, this guy is a true character. And these guys are so good out there. I mean, these are the best athletes in the world. They're in tip-top shape, and they've worked on every part of their games, the mental part, the technical part, the physical part. And here comes a guy who looks like uh, he's don't. <laughs> Caution to the wind, form to the wind, and he's just making it up as he goes along. Fending off bees. I like that <laughs> analogy earlier. Much more to come. Still.